and you're very welcome to another episode of Ireland's Atlantic Adventures where we had a bit of a challenge today. So Mr. O.C. Racing himself, Ken, is here with us today. The producer thought it would be good for me to sit on the jet ski. Of course, of course. <laughs> Anyway, the big plan, right, we have this spark in for a service, so it's getting its oil, its plugs, and... Filter. Filter, filter, filter. The whole shebang. It's going to look lovely, the inside of it, the brains. It's going to look lovely when we're finished. But, myself and Ken have set ourselves a challenge today. Now, we've taken many a spark apart for our services and all that, but we've never really exactly timed how long it took us. And today, we're going to challenge ourselves to see if we can get it done in... Four minutes or under. Four minutes. Four minutes. So press the like button if you think you can get it, if we can get it under four minutes. And press it now, press it now. Come on, hurry up, press it now. So we're gonna set our challenge, four minutes to see if we can get the whole body of this up off the spark. And then from there, then we're gonna service the ski. So, all right, let's get cracking. Cracking, let's get rocking. All right, let's go. All right, so guys, the time starts now. Done. Okay guys, welcome along to Limerick. Here we are today with our Sea-Doo Spark. Looks a bit funny without the top on it, but we've split it there. I think it was 3.56 we got it in. So anyone out there that can beat that time, let us know and we'll try to speed it up a bit. Okay, so here we are with all our bits and pieces to service the Sea-Doo Spark. Always use your OEM main dealer stuff. In Ireland we get all our stuff from uh, Kilmore Jetworks up the north. So. Davey has a good website and he always has the stuff out on time. Okay, so to split the spark, what you need is, you need a Torx uh, T30, that's what they're called over here. You need a 10 mil socket, all right, there for the bits at the side, socket underneath, Torx on top, take them out. All the rest of the stuff basically is uh, plastic, screw, plastic screws that need the Torx 330. They're steel screws, but they're in plastic, so they come straight out, all right. When you have your kit, we have our plugs here, NGK plugs, your 16 socket and a 3 8 Okay, your filter, OEM CDU filter. To take that off, you have your Torx E8, three screws in the top, we'll show you how to do that, and it comes straight off. Get a little plastic container to put your old oil filter into, keep it nice and clean, all right. Very handy tool for when you're doing your stuff, this Milwaukee, it's 3 8 ratchet drive there and you put your little uh, quarter inch on it. Very handy, these are dear enough, but when you're using them every day, it's worth spending the money on them, okay? A lot of guys ask how to get the oil out. So here is your oil filler here. So you can get a hand pump or Dermot splashed out and spent 17 euros up in little and got a little electric pump. So we'll show you how that works in a while. All right, so oil, so you've got your two of these here and then you have your little oil for here. All right, so that's a wrap, as you can see. Not a whole lot of parts needed, not a whole lot of tools needed. Everything's easy when you know how and when you've got the right stuff. Okay, so we have our oil pump set up. Okay, turn this on, see if it works. Here we go, you have the old oil coming out. So you get two of these quartz, which is 0.95 of a litre, we're all metric over here. So basically that's about a litre, so hopefully it should be taking about two of those out. So we leave that run away, and we'll start on the rest of the service. So these are the coil packs. You have your 12 volt going in here, and then you have your high voltage coming out here into your spark plug. Again, put away nice and tidy, nice and safe. 16 mil socket for your spark plug. Just break it handy. Oh. Now I'll show you two ways to put these in. Put it in like that. Drop it down. Screw with a touch. Okay, so it's already treaded in there, ready to go with your 16. Other way is, drop it down nice and easy and then you can run it straight with this. Some people will say that maybe this isn't the way to do it, but nice and handy. Get her tighten up. 
because this is sitting in it and guiding it in straight in all the years we've never had an issue with a cross thread nice squeeze the plug when it first goes in has this little washer here that compresses so they always need a bit of an extra squeeze when they're first going in Again, you can do it both ways, whatever way you're comfortable with. Put the plug into the coil pack, drop it down and thread it in, or just give it a run straight in. Good squeeze. Don't go too mad on them. Trail coil packs. Keep an eye on your screws. You can see these ones here, They're nice and clean. There's no salt or anything in good condition to spark. If there's a little bit of salt on, I'm giving a little rub with a wire brush and then a bit of a XPS spray as well, just so they don't, because they can get locked up in, in, the, in the top of the engine and they're stainless, so they'll break when you take them out. So nice and handy. Another thing. Now you can see here, it's starting to draw air on the suction pump in around the engine. We had given this a run earlier on on the hose to warm up the oil. Okay, so just looking at my system here. Yeah, we've about the correct amount of oil out. We're moving on to the oil now. So we have the plugs done, buttoned up nice and tidy. Oil is next, okay. Handy little filter here. Pop it in there into the oil filler. Here's your oil filter, okay. Always, when we're servicing skis here for customers, we write the date and the name of the customer here. It's so easy, it takes one minute, and it's totally transparent. Guys messing around saying, oh, I serviced your ski, I didn't service your ski, all that kind of stuff. Simply ask them to write the name and the filter, and it's all sorted, okay? We can show you for GDPR reasons here now. We're very strict on this shit here. Okay, and what's today's date? It is 11th of April. April. And it's 2021. 2021. Okay, so we'll just put the customer's initials here. So can you see that? No question. His ski was serviced on this date with his initials on it. Okay, so it's quite easy to check. All right, so we'll keep the service guys on their toes. All right, so next minute you've got your EA Torx. One. Two. Three. We have some blue roll down here and we're going to lift it off here okay so there's your oil filter ready to come out all right these filters are just the paper filters they don't have the wire mesh on them because they're not supercharged on the 300s and all the other sedus that have the supercharger skis you need a wire mesh on this here. If you don't, the filter will actually collapse. Even though it's metal inside, there's a metal channel in some of the other ones, it'll compact, compress. It's huge pressure on them, okay? So, that's there ready to go. Now, here's our little O-ring here. All right, make sure that that's changed out as well. All right, flattened off a bit. In the kit, you get it here. O-ring. All right, that goes on there. Making sure you've got a good seal. Okay, get some old oil, rub it around the edge. If there was any salt corrosion or build up here, we clean all that with a little wire brush. Okay, but this ski is uh, fairly good. All right, new filter. Pop it in. And our cap ready to go now some guys can do this and try to do this without splitting the ski as you saw earlier it takes less than four minutes but the main reason for splitting the ski is look see all this salt build up corrosion all down around your block you want to be able to get in around we'll clean all this down for the customer xps spray paintbrush and you're good to go
do the screws one at a time so it's nice and even on the way down. You'll see some corrosion here on one of the engine mounts, okay? So that's why it's worth splitting the ski, okay? See the corrosion, the salt down here. You can check your starter. You can check other bits and pieces. Check your coolant for the service. That's your relay for your starting. If you get corrosion buildup on that, you lose power from the battery down. The fuse box, that's your little relay there. A little bit tight. Nice and clean. We'll spray all this down with XPS. Give it a good clean in a while. Okay. We try to reuse these afterwards as well. Generally, we might show you. We'll drop one in in a pitcher. So when you've these completely empty, just cut the bottoms off them. They're very handy for uh, nuts, bolts. I would always and only recommend using main dealer OEM oil. I know that these guys that check the spec and this and that and they match it off to all the other stuff, but it mightn't be so important with these Sea-Doo Spark skis, but with the supercharged ski, because there's a wet clutch on them, the oil needs to be right for them. So what are you saving? Five euros, $10, whatever it is. Okay, so for the sake of that, use the, the proper oil. I'm not saying that the other oil isn't exact, but we've looked at it before and for the sake of it, your supercharger won't perform correctly and it won't operate correctly. So now I'm not gonna put the full one in here until we get the engine up and running. So we leave it at about one and a half there. We will check that in a while. Okay, so guys, we're more or less done the service. So always good to give the uh, ski and the engine a once over when you're done, okay? Most important thing is, is the exhaust, boost, uh, exhaust pipes here. You don't have any boost pipes on these sparks, but sometimes make sure that these clamps are always tight. Give them a good pull, okay? Make sure they're okay. Here is your uh, exhaust temperature sensor, okay? So if you get a high temperature in your exhaust, sometimes if you get some weed or something stuck in underneath, this is the one that's gonna trigger, okay? Here's your oil filler. You've got a air pressure and temperature sensor here. Okay, this is your fuel rail here, which are three injectors here. That's what clicks them on and off. As I said earlier, here's your three coil packs, one, two, three. This is your cam sensor, I think, on your spark. Okay, throttle body here. So your air is coming in here, into your air intake box here, and it's flowing through here. So inside here, you have your mechanical butterfly valve. This is controlled by wire before it used to have the cable on it. Here's your air intake manifold, all right. Check your cooling, which is here. So it's up on the, the mark there. They used to drop before because there was a little uh, gasket gone on the oil or on the, on the water pumps, all right. Your fuse box is here. Obviously we checked that, give it a good clean down. Here is your fuel pump module. So your fuel is pressurized in here, comes up through the pipe here, up into your fuel rail and then your injectors open and close to feed your fuel into it. Here's your ECU. There was a small bit of corrosion starting to build up on this, so we give that a clean off. You can also just check the inside of the connectors too by pulling them out, checking them nice and clean. If you've green corrosion or anything like that in there, you're in trouble. You wanna pull the whole thing out and make sure that it's uh, done properly. Okay, so that's about it really for checking everything. Now we're ready to put the lid back on. Cut! <laughs> All 
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this week's episode. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Maybe you've learned something along the way how to service your own ski. But if you're in doubt of doing it, do drop a listen to us at any time you wish. And uh, just give us a contact, leave a message down below, or give us a call, uh, or email, or any questions, email irelandsatlanticadventures at gmail.com. Uh, I'll leave links for everything down below in the description. So it was an absolute ball, Ken. Good crack today. Yeah. We beat four minutes. So next time we three go. Three minutes, 50. Three, minute, three minutes, 30 seconds is the next time. Oh, 30, yeah. Yeah, we got to beat three turkeys next time. So, yeah. You won't cheat as much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, please, it'd be great if you press the like button, give us a comment down below, and it'd be great if you could share with family and friends to help our community grow. So until the next time, guys, see ya. Long lad from Ireland. Oh! <laughs>